my mother was Jean Dornay. She was a, a great name in modelling in the 1950s, and she was the first English girl that Christian Dior took on in Avenue Montaigne to work as a mannequin in his house. When Dior came on the scene, it was such a sensation. These incredibly feminine, romantic, beautiful clothes, and with so much material. She was very beautiful, she was very elegant, she um, adapted very well to whatever people wanted, and she had an 18 inch waist. My head is 22 inches. What made them the supermodel was what, not exactly the Dior um, contract, um, because those were nameless people, but the fact that she was, for England, their English girl, one, so she became a known name. Um, but then the following year, Vogue decided to take five or seven girls to Australia, and that had never been done. So clothes had been sent to locations. But once the clothes got there, they'd find pretty local girls, to, or local models, to, to be the model. To actually pay on an, on an aircraft, you know, uh, for five girls and put them up in a hotel to go over, that was enormous. So those five girls became supermodels. Certainly a distinguished collection. Ravel's silk coat is removed to reveal a short dinner dress made of straw lace. <laughs> 